What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. It was back on September 5th when rapper Rich Homie Quan died in Atlanta, Georgia, unexpectedly at the age of, I believe it was 33. And while it was suspected that he had died of a drug overdose, it had not been confirmed at that time. <clears throat> the rapper was laid to rest on September the 17th. His cause of death was pending the completion of a toxicology report. And now it has been confirmed that he died of a drug overdose. In particular, one of the culprits, one of the drugs found in his system was fentanyl. As a matter of fact, the drugs found in his system included fentanyl, alprazolam, hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, alprazolam, codeine, promethazine, and THC. Now, it was uh, at the time of his death that his brother said that he found um, the rapper asleep on the floor by the kitchen with food in his mouth, which he thought was unusual. So he picked his brother up and put him on the couch. <clears throat> so that's telling me that there must have been other instances where when he was high, that he had been unconscious or whatever. And that, maybe that's created the normalcy in that situation. Because usually I would think that if you see someone on the floor and they seem out of it or unconscious that you would call 911. Now I'm assuming at this time, Rich Homie Kwan was still breathing. But anyway, I think it was his girlfriend or a woman is the one that ultimately called uh, the police later that morning after she noticed that his body was cold and he was not breathing told officers that she seen him on the couch earlier that morning, but assumed that he was asleep. I think it was when she turned him over and she saw that he was foaming at the mouth. We have a problem in this country with drugs, man, in particular prescription medication. When I was growing up, the problem was heroin, cocaine, we still have issues with those drugs, but now, man, fentanyl is one of these drugs that seems to constantly be involved in people's uh, deaths. Notable people, people you know, people you heard about, maybe even family members that are overdosed on this very lethal substance, this very lethal opioid. Fentanyl is a highly potent synthetic opioid primarily used as an analgesic it is 20 to 40 times more potent than heroin and a hundred times more potent than morphine over the past 25 years 400 matter of fact more than 400,000 Americans have died of fentanyl overdoses that is more than 100,000 more people, Americans, I should say, that were killed in action during World War II, right? This is a big problem, and the media doesn't talk about it because, obviously, of the power and influence of Big Pharma. I mean, it's amazing how... Over the past 30 years, past 40 years, you've seen the uh, discontinuation of television commercials advertising cigarettes and alcohol. You know, when I was growing up, you always saw alcohol commercials on TV. Um, I don't think I really see too many anymore. And if they are, you don't see them consuming a the product, you know, uh, but they've gone down you know, exponentially. Uh, but 
we always see advertisements for this medication, that medication, this one drug, this weight loss drug, this drug that's going to cure your depression. Then at the bottom of the screen, you see all these horrific side effects. Or they say them really fast or in a matter of fact and calm voice that, hey, we can't be that bad. Oh, your toes fall off? Oh, oh, I guess that's worth, you know, not being depressed. What? Your dick shrivels up. Well, I mean, I guess that's the price you pay for a full head of hair. But yeah, man, um, this is especially prevalent in young people. These fentanyl overdoses. You know, like a lot of people, you even hear rap songs that glorify drug use. And it's like, that's why I tell you all the time on my videos, I don't listen to this shit no more because to me, this is all by design. This is all by design. This is all, uh, they, they put out rappers. Or really, they put out these plants who promote the worst behavior. They promote behavior which will influence young people to commit crimes, to fill these prisons. Because as I said before, time and time again, there's a link between the music industry and the prison industrial complex. And they want to promote the promiscuity of individuals. You know what I mean? Because, uh, look, abortion clinics that uh, Planned Parenthood, all of this stuff, you know, this is business. You know? Um, these, these drugs that they know people get hooked on, and these drugs are so dangerous and potent, as I said before, Big Pharma doesn't care. They want you using these drugs. So, you know, a lot of this stuff is pumped and promoted by this, in my opinion, often satanic music. But anyway, rest in peace to Rich Homie Kwan. Now we got closure. Now we know what caused this demise. And what are we going to learn from this? Probably absolutely nothing. Over the past 25 years, 400,000, and really most of that has occurred in the last 10 years. So, it is what it is. Thank you.